All right, number 21, what's the approximate length of HJ in the diagram below? Hmm, well, HJ is just the same thing as HI plus IJ. So really, all I need to do is find out what each of those lengths are, and I can add them together. So that's how I'm going to go about this question. And they gave me some angle degrees, so I'm looking there, it says 30 there, so I know that this has to be 60. 60 plus 30 plus 90 gives me 180 for that triangle. And the other one's a 60, 30, 90, or a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So I know that right away, and good news is I can use a little bit of trig here with my ratios and set up a proportion to find my missing sides. So let's say I can call this one Y, and this side X, in other words, IJ I'm going to refer to as X, HI I'm referring to as Y. And now I'm going to go ahead and set up a proportion. So let's say I want to do the Y part first. Well, I could say I know my 30 degrees, because opposite of 30 is the 100. Then opposite of 60 is the Y, so I'm going to do 30 and 60. And what are my ratios for a 30, 60, 90? Well, 30, 60, 90 is going to be um, 1, and then the 90 is 2, the 60 is square root of 3. So those are the ratios I need to know for 30, 60, 90. And if we had a 45, 45, 90, we don't in this case, but if we did, we could, then it would be 1, 1, square root of 2. So those are the ratios we have to have memorized. So now I'm going to plug in. My 30 is going to be a 1. My 60 is a square root of 3. And I'm going to set that equal to what I'm given. Well, the 30 is, opposite of 30 is 100, so I'm going to write 100 on top, and then on the bottom, I don't know what's opposite of 60, that's my Y. So now I'll just cross multiply, and we get Y equals 100 times the square root of 3, and that's what Y is. So I know Y or HI is going to be 100 square root of 3. Now I just need to find out what IJ is and I'll add those together. So that one I'm going to set up is a 60 over 30. The reason I got that is opposite of 60 is the 80, opposite of 30 is the X. You need to use one known measurement and one no unknown measurement in a proportion. So now I'll do 60 is going to be a square root of 3 relationship and the 30 is a 1 relationship. And Opposite of the 60, I have the 80. Opposite of the 30, I have the X. So I'm going to cross multiply. 80 times 1 is 80. X times square root of 3 is just X square root of 3 or square root of 3 times X. To solve for X, I want to divide by the square root of 3. And it would just be 80 over square root of 3 equals X. Just to review some of your rules there, you don't want to square root on the bottom. So we would multiply by the square root of 3 on the bottom, square root of 3 on the bottom, and a square root times a square root, that cancels out your square roots. So that would just make that 3 on the bottom. So this is the same thing as 80 square root of 3 over 3. And that doesn't reduce from there. So that's our best answer for x. Now, since we do have a calculator, and these are not in radical form, it's okay to leave it 80 over square root of 3. I was just reviewing your square root rules with fractions. So now I'm going to do y plus x, in other words, hi plus ij, and that should give me the whole thing, which is hj, which is what I want. So I'm going to do 100 square root of 3. I can type that in my calculator, hit enter, and then put plus, and the calculator will say answer plus, and then I'm going to type in um, 80 divided by square root of 3. And that should give me 
173.2 plus 46.2 which gives me 219.4 now this does say approximate so the best answer is going to be C alright so this just had a couple of steps it's kinda of like a puzzle piece once you find one side you have to find the other in order to connect them and add them together was there another way to solve this question sure we could have done uh, uh, law of signs we could have done probably another good way would have been trig uh, using socatella we could have found the missing sides and done the same thing but we had our special case triangles so we did it the easier way